particular movement if you have any kind of spinal injury um, or if you have any pain in the lower back. Okay, so let's go ahead and lie down on the back. And once again, we're going to start from the very, very basic beginner level and work our way up to the final exercise of rolling like a ball. So we're going to roll down on the back and bring the knees into the chest one at a time and just make sure that the lower back is touching the mat. Okay? Place the hands gently on the knees and take a nice deep breath in and as you exhale, use your abdominals to roll yourself up as close to the knees as possible. But try not to use the arms to pull the knees into the chest. Use your abdominals to pull the shoulders towards the knees. And then release. So we inhale at the bottom and exhale as you roll up. Engage the abdominals to pull the chest as close to the knees as possible. So you should feel a very strong contraction of the abdominals. And then down, inhale. And again, exhale, come up. Drop the belly button. Lead with the chest, inhale, release. Exhale, come up. And inhale, release. And let's do that one more time. Look at your belly button and suck it in just a little bit more. Roll yourself up a little smaller and let's just hold here. Make sure you're not tense and pulling strong with the arms. Just stay light in the arms and hold. Keep breathing. And then slowly release. Okay, so let's work it backwards from the top. So we're going to start in a sitting position. And let's keep the toes on the mat. And first thing we're going to do is just like we did in the beginning is practice the pelvic tilt. So remember the pelvic tilt is a rolling of the pelvis under. And then come back up. So when you're doing this, also try to focus on the abdominals doing the work. So actually engage the abdominals to scoop the pelvis rather than just like kind of falling back, okay? So let's initiate the abdominals to tilt the pelvis, to roll, and then come back up. So for now, we're gonna keep the toes on the mat. So scoop the pelvis, draw the belly button really tightly against the, the spine, and come back up. And let's just do that one more time. Exhale as we go down. Excuse me, exhale as we come up. So we inhale down, and exhale up. And let's go ahead and take the toes off and hold. So for now, just hold. So we're just kind of trying to take the toes off the mat and roll yourself into a very tiny little ball, but try not to just fall, right? Try not to just round the spine. Just pick the toes up, tuck yourself slightly, relax the shoulders. So again, you should be feeling strong abdominal work here and hold and release. So a few times, we're going to pull the knees up and crunch and release. And knees up and crunch and release, keeping the rest of the body as soft as possible. We'll do that a few more times. And hold, and release, good. And once again, make sure you don't feel anything in the lower back. And try not to tense the hip flexors too much, good. Now let's go ahead and leave the toes on the mat. We're gonna scoop the pelvis, go down a little more, and allow the toes to just slightly come off the mat and then come back up. So we leave the toes on the mat, we tilt the pelvis, we roll back, Keep the abs in, roll back some more so that the toes start to peel off the mat and right before you fall, you come back up. And again, you scoop, roll down, toes off, and back up. So just visualize the rounding of the lower back, nice and smooth, and back up. Good, now let's keep the toes up, and we're gonna try to tilt with the feet up. So we scoop the pelvis, roll back just a little bit, and come back up. And again, you scoop, scoop, Roll back slightly, and just before you go over, you come back up. Okay, let's do that a few more times, initiating in the abdominals, and up. And just twice more. And one more time. And here's the test. See if you can roll all the way down while keeping control. So come all the way down, and stay down. Good. So let's work our way up again. Tuck the chin into the chest. And let's this time see how far up you can go. Now try not to swing. For now, keep it all controlled and see how high up you can roll up. Now if you can come all the way up, go ahead and do so. Keep it real smooth, as gentle and as controlled as possible. And you can pause at the bottom 
and pause at the top. Now you can start to add a little momentum. So when you're down, you can let the hips roll up just a little bit. And as soon as you get down, you come back up. Now this should be a very smooth movement. If you're hearing a sound, if you're skipping over the lower back and you hear the hips and the spine touch, you're not rolling through the lower back. So pull back and just practice the smaller version. Okay. So let's do a few more. And this time, you can go on ahead and add the momentum as smoothly as possible. Inhale down, exhale up. And you start trying to stay very tucked and roll just like a wall. Twice more. And then let's go ahead and stay down. And we're going to add that into our basic mat Pilates. So we're going to start with the 100. Take a nice deep breath in through the nose. And then a strong breath out through the mouth. Now for a challenge, you can bring the legs down a little bit more. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Good. So we've practiced all the previous exercises and some of our previous little sequences. So feel free to check in with those for more form. Inhale deeply. Exhale deeply. So for the 100, we inhale for five pumps and exhale for five pumps. We do that 10 times, giving us the 100 pumps. Stay nice and stable in the rest of the body. Deep breath. You can bring the legs a little further down if you can. Keep the back nice and flat. And let's release. Let's bring the legs down one at a time. We'll do the roll up. Nice deep breath in. Keep the pelvis slightly tucked. Try not to arch the back. Exhale, roll up. Inhale, roll down. Exhale, roll up. Inhale, down. Keep the back flat and the ribs down. And the movement as smooth as possible. So once again, for more form, check on the other series for the details on how to break down the exercise, make it a little easier or a little harder. Let's just do two more. And one more. And this time, let's stay down. And tuck the pelvis, take the right leg up, rotate it out to the side, and make a small circle. And again, we're just doing the finished product. So if you need breakdowns on the form, check the previous series. And then circle the other way. So focus on stabilizing the hips, right? So we use the abdominals to hold the hips nice and still. Bring the right leg down. Keep the pelvis scoop, left leg up, point the toes. External rotation, small circles. Keep the breath moving and keep the hips as stable as possible. Exhale on the way up and circle the other way. And let's go ahead and bring the knees into the chest. And now we do the rolling like a ball. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale. Exhale. Deep scoop at the bottom and make sure you roll through the lower back. Two more. One more. And stay up. Okay, so that was the rolling like a ball. We placed that in into our basic mat Pilates. So we have a few more exercises before we do the whole basic mat Pilates series. Okay, so Take your time, check on the other series to check on the details on the form on the previous exercises. And remember, it's better to master the very basic label before you go on to a more challenging version of the exercise. So progress will happen. Just try not to skip over any steps. Take a nice deep breath in and release.